Hello everybody, my name is Zul, and welcome to Modding Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. In this video, I'm going to be covering a very essential mod for playing Dark Souls on the PC, and that mod is DS Fix. What is DS Fix, you may be asking? Well, it's a mod that fixes a lot of the problems associated with the port of Dark Souls to the PC. Things like fixed resolution, uh, not enough graphical settings, frame rate tearing, and locked frame rate, as well as a host of other issues. This mod is also needed if you plan on doing any other modding to Dark Souls, such as adding texture packs and uh, modifying the UI. So let's get right into how you install it, and then we'll get to showing you how to use this mod. The first thing you're going to need to do is navigate along to the mod author's site for DS Fix and click the download button right here. Alright, now I've already went ahead and downloaded it. I have the archive right here, and I've also extracted it. Uh, if you open up the folder you've extracted, you'll see everything right here. Uh, you have the DS Fix folder, which contains an area for you to edit the textures and other such things. Uh, you have all of these, you basically need all of these. This is the ini file, we're going to be using this to actually edit the mod itself. Uh, but how to install it? Uh, navigate along to your Steam folder uh, for Dark Souls. This can be s uh, computer, C, user, Steam, Steam apps, common. I keep my Steam in my D drive, so just keep that in mind. I'll post uh, up on the screen somewhere here the default installation path for it. Uh, and you're going to want to go into the data folder. Uh, essentially what you're looking for is this Dark Souls executable right here. This is where you want to put the files. Then you just select all of these files, drag them and drop them into here. I actually already had this installed, so I'm just going to copy and replace that right there. And we're good. So now DS Fix is installed. If we run the game, it should work. Uh, one important thing to note is there's a lot of reported errors of using the in-game anti-aliasing and DS Fix. So you might want to go into the game's files before you install this mod and disable the anti-aliasing. But now that we have the mod installed, how do you use it? Well, there are other things. Uh, there's a mod here that I have. Uh, it's a UI for DS Fix, but I'm not going to be covering that in this video. That'll be for a later date. Uh, what you're going to actually want to do is you're going to want to edit the any file. So you click right click and you're going to want to open with Notepad or Notepad++. Uh, Notepad++ is a free program that is actually meant for editing any files such as this. Uh, no. I'm actually just going to get rid of all of these here. So yeah, this right here is how you're going to be editing the any file. Now I'm going to go up through everything line by line just so you know what they do. Now the first thing is uh, the resolution. Now obviously you're probably going to want it on 1080p if you use high definition. This second line is if you want to use downsampling which is basically the game will render in a larger resolution and then scale it down to your monitor. Uh, I would just leave this at zero because that hurts performance, but some people like to increase this one and then you put the size of your monitor here on the bottom to downsample. The next thing is the anti-aliasing. Now, anti-aliasing is pretty good and it does affect performance. Now, I personally like the anti-aliasing, so I put this to three. Uh, you can put it at whatever you want. You're going to have to, you know, check with your system. This is the type of anti-aliasing. Uh, I just leave it how it is. Uh, but if you know or want to have FXAA versus SMAA, uh, you're going to want to edit this line. The next line is ambient occlusion. Uh, this is the darkness and shadows around a lot of things, and it has to do with how the lighting is. It makes the game look really good when you have anti ambient occlusion. I like to actually keep, took my ambient occlusion on high, and the scale of it, uh, which is just the how it affects performance, I like to leave at 1. These are the different types of ambient occlusions. Uh, I just leave it as it is. If you want to go into more detail, you can edit this to whatever you think. The next thing is the depth of field. Now this is uh, that sort of 
hazy thing in the background far away, sort of like when a camera is out of focus. This is really good, especially because there's some pretty poor quality textures in the background of Dark Souls. Now, you don't want this to actually match your rendering resolution. It even gives you a warning right here. Uh, higher resolutions of this are going to impact performance. I personally set this to 810. Uh, gives it a nice mix. As you can see, you're setting it to the secondary number here. The next field here is the depth of field scaling override. I just leave it as it is. Uh, it's recommended that way, but uh, you can play around with it if you want. The next thing is additional blur to your depth of field. Now, I like to keep this at one, just to give you a little bit of extra blur on uh, higher resolutions, but get the original effect as well. Uh, so I leave it at one, which is an additional 540 depth of field. It, it gives you a really nice long distance effect. The next category is frame rate. Uh, you can actually change the frame rate of the game. You can unlock the FPS and set it to 60. Now, there has been a lot of reports about how this gets p accounts banned from Games from Windows Live, etc, etc, but Games for Windows Live is currently dead. I don't know if there's even any other online option for Dark Souls at the moment, so you don't even need to worry about it. You can set this to whatever you want. Now I am going to unlock my FPS. This is the limit, uh, 60 FPS is there, and this is the threshold. Uh, when the frame rate gets really low, which will happen sometimes because this game is poorly optimized, it will disable your anti-aliasing uh, and basically so the frame rate can increase. Uh, Setting this to 15 is actually a really good number uh, because a lot of times if it drops down this low, you're going to have some problems. I'm going to change it to 15. The next option is just some override filters for the texture pack. I just leave this as it is. Uh, you can play around with it at your own risk, but it does affect performance, so I would just leave this. The next is the HUD mod. Now, DS Fix comes with a hood mod that adds some transparencies and allows you to change things around in the heads-up display. I leave this off because I've had a couple of issues with the boss health being sort of shifted on the side of my screen. I use a different mod, uh, it's actually called Immersive HUD, to change, I think it's called Immersive HUD, don't quote me on that, to change the, the HUD and the transparencies separately. The next option is the window and mouse cursor options. This is borderless full screen mode. This is really good if you use a multi-monitor setup like me and you want to be able to switch in and out of the game. I am actually going to enable this. I've had some problems with it in the past, so if you're having issues with this, just come back into this and disable it. This next field disables the mouse cursor since this game is very poorly optimized with a mouse and keyboard and it is recommended that you use a controller with it. I don't do this because I like to use my mouse in the menus and I just move it over to my other monitor and don't see it when I'm actually playing. Uh, the next one is capture cursor. Now this is to make sure that your mouse doesn't leave the screen. Uh, I obviously keep this off. As I said, I make my mouse leave the cursor. But if you're using the mouse and keyboard, you're going to want this to be captured so that you don't lose it off to the side of the screen like I do. The next option has to do with save game backups. Uh, if you want to like save scum or something like that, I leave all of this as it is. I don't really like the backups. And this option here, is very important if you're using texture packs. Now, the first thing is texture dumping. This will dump all the textures into a folder. If you want to make a texture pack, enable this. It will dump all the texture files so you can edit them. If you want to use a texture pack, change this to one. The next option is to skip the logos at the beginning of the game. Uh, I turn this on but a lot of people have problems with it. If you have any problems in your game, this is the first thing that you should disable. The next one is screenshot directory, obvious. Change the in-game language uh, and just leave, leave all of the rest of this how it is. Like, don't touch this. Don't, not, don't touch any of the rest of this stuff. Just leave it as it is and then save. 
With that, we've edited the DS Fix and customized it to our liking. Uh, keep in mind that what I use will not be best for your system, or it might not even be the best way to do it. Uh, your performance and your PC is going to be different than mine, and everybody's computer is differently, so please, these are just basic guidelines on what to do. Now that we've done that, you can play Dark Souls to your heart's content and prepare yourself for death. Alright everybody, so now I've launched the game immediately after that any file. It has skipped the intro successfully. I'm just closing out all that Windows Live stuff. And as you can see in the corner right here, it says DS Fix Enabled. So everything that I had worked, this is what you need to do. You go into the game to check if you have it installed properly. Make sure your any file works. I'm actually going to quickly start a new game just to make sure that my character is able to load into the game. So I'm just going to start up the game, skip all the videos and stuff, and make sure that my character loads into the game successfully. Let me just get that guy out of there. And here we are, into the game. DS Fix is working. Look at that. I have a good frame rate going right now. I'm getting a solid 60 FPS currently, which is what I believe I set it to. Okay, it went down a little bit. But yeah, I'm getting close to 60 FPS, so the frame rate unlock worked. And everything else is also working, so we're good to go. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I would love feedback in the comments. Any questions, concerns, any sort of anything just makes my day and I would love it. Uh, I'd also like you to stay tuned. I am going to be continuing this Dark Souls series, uh, covering a couple of other mods, how to install them, what they do, that sort of thing. Uh, and I'm also going to be continuing some other series. If you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, as always, have an excellent day. I've been Zul.